sixth grade, module one, lesson 21, problem set. Number one, seven feet equals how many inches? So first I wanna remind you that the next page has all of the different conversions on it that you will need. So if you are stuck and don't know a certain conversion, just refer to the next page and it'll give you those conversion rates. So seven feet is equal to how many inches? I know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So seven feet, we need to know how many inches that is. So I'm gonna multiply seven times 12. Two times seven is 14, carry the one. One times seven is seven plus one is eight. So it would be equal to 84 inches. Number two, 100 yards equals how many feet? So how many yards are in a foot? So we know that one yard is equal to three feet. And if we have 100 yards, how can we get two feet? So again, we're gonna need to multiply 100 times three, which is equal to 300 feet. 25 meters is equal to how many centimeters? So how many meters are in a centimeter? So one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So think about like a meter stick. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. So if we had 25 of those, how many centimeters would that be? So we're gonna need to do 25 times 100, which gets us 2,500 centimeters. Five kilometers is equal to how many meters? Let's just do one. So one kilometer is equal to how many meters? That would be 1,000. So five kilometers, we'd need to do five times 1,000, and we would get 5,000 meters. 96 ounces is equal to how many pounds? So there are 16 ounces in one pound. So if we have 96 ounces, we wanna know how many pounds that is. This time we're gonna to have to divide. So let's do 96 divided by 16. 16 can't go into nine. We need to estimate how many times could 16 go into 96. I'm gonna try maybe six or seven. I'll try seven. Seven times six is 42. Seven times one is seven, plus one is 11. So that's too big, maybe I'll do six this time. 16 times, or six times six is 36, carry the three. Six times one is six, plus three is nine. So there it is. So it is equal to six pounds. Two miles is equal to how many feet? So first we need to know that one mile is equal to 5,280, I believe, feet. Let's go down and check. Let's see, yeah. One mile is 5,280 feet. So if we wanna know two miles, we're gonna need to do two times 5,280. So you get 10,560 feet. Two miles is equal to how many yards? Number seven, two miles is equal to how many yards? So one mile is equal to 1,760 yards? Yep, 
there it is, 1,760 yards. So two miles would be, we need to multiply these together. Three thousand five hundred twenty yards. Thirty two fluid ounces is equal to how many cups? So that conversion rate would be there are eight ounces in one cup, eight fluid ounces. Not feet. Eight fluid ounces in one cup. So if we had 32 fluid ounces, how many cups is that? Well, we would need to do 32 divided by eight and we would get four, so it's equal to four cups. 1,500 milliliters is equal to how many liters? Do this in orange. So we know that 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. So if we have 1,500 milliliters, how many liters is that? Well, we can divide 1,500 divided by 1,000 and we'll get one and five tenths liters or you could say one and a half liters. And six grams is equal to how many milligrams? So one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. So six grams, we need to multiply six times 1,000, we would get 6,000 milligrams. Number 11. Bo buys a three pound bag of trail mix for a hike. He wants to make one ounce bags for his friends with whom he is hiking. How many one ounce bags can he make? So he buys a three pound bag and he wants to make one ounce bags. In one pound, there are 16 ounces. So in three pounds, we would need to do three times 16. And six times three is 18, carry the one. Three times one is three, plus one is four. So that would be 48 ounces, which means that he could make 48 one ounce bags. Number 12, let's get rid of this part. The maximum weight for a truck on the New York State through, Thruway is 40 tons. How many pounds is this? We know that one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So 40 tons, we would need to do 40 times 2,000. Four times two is eight, and then we have one, two, three, four zeros, which would be 80,000 pounds. 13, Claudia's skis are 150 centimeters long. How many meters is this? Okay, so centimeters to meters. I know that 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. If I have 150 centimeters, and I want to turn that into meters, I need to divide. And I'll get one and five tenths meters. 14, Claudia's skis are 150 centimeters long. How many millimeters is this? Okay, so there are 150 centimeters. We're doing centimeters to millimeters. So there are one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So if I have 150 centimeters, I can multiply that by 10. And I'll get 1,500 millimeters. Number 15, write your own problem and solve it. Be ready to share the question tomorrow. So 
you can pick anything off of here. So just look at the conversion chart. Let's um, let's do distance. Distance is so we know that one kilometer is a thousand meters. So let's say you could say use your name. Um, so pick any name. I'll pick Paul. Say Paul ran five ran. A, you hear a lot of people running five k. So let's say Paul ran a five k this weekend. How many meters did he run? And you should probably figure out the answer so that you have the answer in case your teacher asks you to check up on you to make sure that you actually got the answer to that problem.